hi welcome everyone in today's video we are going to learn how to do uh, cross-sectional research with its diagnostics specifically for new researchers in eviews for that i have opened one data which is uh, data of few variables in which the yellow ones are dependent variable the white ones are actual independent variables and the red ones are transformed variables where i have taken natural log of these variables and you can see the formulas here secondly this data is of two types i have here and cross section id so if i use here and cross section id it means this data is of different cross sections which can be companies or countries and here means a number of years within a company or a country so this can this if i use them it will become a panel data but but, but for the case of cross-sectional research i will be doing an example so for that i have made a serial number variable sr which is just a serial number of observations which is from starting from one to if i go to the end it is 432 so there are 432 observations so whatever i do is i will go in views first so I will open eViews and in that eViews I will uh, create a new work file and I will say that it is unstructured and undated data and there are 432 observations. It will just open an Excel sheet. So I will go up and copy the data from serial number here to here and to the end and go in eViews and go in op uh, quick mp group edit series go one step up and paste it here so this is my data so eviews has recognized all the columns as variables you can see it here first one is the column for intercept it's just a constant constant and then there is a column for residuals it will be generated when we estimate the regression results and others are the columns same as the number of columns which we have done uh, which we were there in the eviews file so for the case of regression you just have to select the variables in the same order of regression equation where independent variables should so we'll select the variables first is roa control if you press the control button select in the same order size risk and an esg so eviews remembers the order that you have selected while you're selecting the variables then you should use right click to open uh, to right click where the variables are and open them in the equation and in this equation you can notice that there is a c for constant and all other variables now you need you can run simple regression from the first option so when you run it will run the regression and it will give you simple details like double martin r square f test and the variable sample size time and date and then coefficients here you can go view and coefficient diagnostics you can get VIF for for um, multi coordinate tests so this is the uncentered VIF and centered VIF so th here this uncentered VIF are small this is showing that there is a less likelihood of multi collinearity and then you go down residual diagnostics you can get for histogram and it is significant means there is uh, the residuals are not normal because of uh, high crotosis it is 12 it should be 3 and then in the residuals you can go for serial correlation uh, 2 lags it is significant with 2 lags of residuals so it is there is articulation at 2 at uh, two second order articulation you can check for first order articulation by do, including lag 1 only it's also significant so there is also first order articulation so you can also confirm it you for higher order using uh, the histogram Q, Q, Q statistics Q stat uh, and and you can see it here that there are uh, around eight lags significant uh, for residuals so up to eight lags there is uh, articulation in the series uh, so data has articulation so still if uh, it it is uh if you assume that it is the cross-sectional data then it means that the in the order of the observations the the data is related up to eighth observation from each observation if it is a time series data it will say 
that there is after collection till eight years in the past for each observation and then if you go to the heterosclerosity there are several types usually we do the bg bpg brosh gopeg and godfrey and if you just do this it is significant for all three types so it means that there is heterosclerosticity and then if you go the stability diagnostics you can go for reset test and it checks for uh, missing specification so it is significant at 10 percent so it means a uh, square form of variable that is missing how it checks it adds the square of dependent variable and it is significant at 10 percent so it means any one of these variables have a square form which is playing a role in explaining dependent variable then we can also look for other diagnostics like leverage plots and it checks for uh, the 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 uh, uh, outliers and the effect of these values so you can see the there are few outliers here and here then uh, and they can, you can go for further breakpoint tests and all of them are mostly used for uh, time series the uh, time series data and since it's a cross sectional most of them will not have any meaning okay so this is the uh, basic description of how to do the uh, cross sectional regression you can also get the the actual fitted residuals table you can get the residuals data and this is actual data of y dependent variable this is estimated dependent variable and these are residuals so you can have a look at this plot and if you're going to go to detail you can have a look at this residuals plot so this way you can assess the nature of the error terms in the data you can go for if you want to generate the residuals it's already stored here but if you want to store in permanent uh, store it permanently so that you can use them as a variable you can go in object uh, you can go in proc and make residual series to collect to calculate a new variable this way you can store it permanently otherwise every time you do a regression the residual variable will change so you cannot use it in a new uh, in, in any other assessment after doing another regression so this was a video that is helpful to do cross-sectional research in eviews thank you very much for watching do subscribe and share for share and and do comment your questions so that new videos can try to give you answers for that thank you very much